what is the Pinterest tag and do I need to have it installed if I'm going to be marketing my business on Pinterest? That is exactly what I'm going to share and answer for you in today's YouTube episode. I'm Emily Bales. I'm a Pinterest marketing expert and coach. And for the past five years now, I've helped my students and business owners increase their traffic and turn it into profit through the power of Pinterest marketing. So just as I mentioned, I have helped business owners through both organic marketing and increasing that organic traffic and turning it into profit, but I've actually helped business owners with Pinterest ads as well. So actually paying to get their pins in front of their ideal audience on the platform. So of course, when you're putting some money and ad spend behind running paid ads and you're targeting that audience, you are going to see faster results and that can actually help you organically as well see a boost. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We are actually here to talk about the Pinterest tag and deciding if this is something that you need to install on your website. So actually, I used to really only be focused on the Pinterest tag and making sure it was installed if I was running ads for a client. But then I actually started doing it for my organic clients as well, because it's just something that is nice to have installed. So when you have your Pinterest tag installed, what you're essentially doing is you are taking a piece of code from Pinterest and you're installing it on the back end of your website. So you're going to take that code and you are going to add it to the header script of your website. There are different tools and ways that you can easily do that. It's not difficult to do it in the header script. And you could also give those directions to a web developer and they could do it for you as well. It actually should really only take five minutes or less. But if you are having trouble or you don't even know where the header script is, you can also get different tools such as the code injector and you can use that to install the code as well. So that's another way that you can easily add that code. But once you have that code installed, it's essentially tracking who is coming to your website and those conversions that are taking place. And that is in relation to the ads you're running on Pinterest. This means that you can really track how effective your ads are. And there's a lot of different benefits, but if you're going to become a verified merchant, you also have to have your Pinterest tag installed. So like I mentioned, whether you are planning day one to run Pinterest ads, or maybe you're unsure, if you're gonna be marketing on Pinterest, I would just go ahead and install that tag right from the get-go because that is collecting information and then it's already taken care of if you do decide to run ads. You do need to have a Pinterest business account if you were going to install the Pinterest tag. So I did wanna mention that, but it is free and super easy to set up if you wanna have that Pinterest business account. And of course, having a business account unlocks all of the important features and tools that you'll need as a business owner marketing on the platform. So what I'm gonna do to help you today, I am actually gonna give you a really quick tutorial of what it looks like on my account to install my Pinterest tag. Now I do already have it installed and I should mention too that I have a WordPress website. Of course, if you have Wix or you have some other platform that you're using for your website, it's gonna look a little bit different on the back end. But like I said, if this is not something that you want to do, you can always pass this over to a web developer or somebody else that would be comfortable going in on the back end of your site and performing this task. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at my Pinterest account and check out how to install that Pinterest tag. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and install your Pinterest tag. This should just take you a few minutes, but remember you do need to have a Pinterest business account in order to do this, but that is free and super easy to set up. And one thing that's really cool too is if you have an existing personal account, you can convert it to a business account. And then let's say if for some reason you wanted to convert it back to a personal account, you could do that. So you can go back and forth. I don't recommend doing that. Once I converted my personal account to a business account and optimized it for the search engine, I never had the need to go back to that personal account but wanted to mention that just in case that crosses your mind. So now that we are logged into your Pinterest business account, you are going to go to the top left-hand corner. And I just want to mention too, Pinterest continues to update and evolve things, change it. But what you need to do is make sure that you are getting to the conversions right now. 
as we are in 2024, this is how you are finding that conversions tab. And that's how we are going to get to your Pinterest tag, get that code. And then we are going to install that on the back end of your website. Now, this sounds a little bit technical. It's really not too challenging. And a lot of YouTube videos, you can actually just search how to install blank code for, and you can, you know, enter in what type of specific website you have. So what I'm showing you today is specifically on a WordPress website, but I've had to locate the header script for different types of websites, such as Squarespace or Wix, or, you know, I actually really like Shopify because you can get the Pinterest app for Shopify and then everything is kind of seamlessly integrated. So that makes it even easier. So anyways, it really is not overly complicated, but if it's something that you just don't want to deal with, you could always outsource it. And this is something that wouldn't take a web developer. I mean, it shouldn't take you longer than five or 10 minutes. So it's going to take a web developer two minutes. <laughs> so if it's something you did want to ultimately outsource, you can do that. But I hope this video helps you be able to simply go step by step and just be able to do this on your own. So you don't have to pay to have that outsource. So we are going to click on the home feed and uh, that has the three bars. It's going to bring us up to the screen that says shortcuts, create analytics, ads, and business. Under business, if you scroll down, you will see the conversions. So I'm going to go ahead and click on conversions. And what that is going to do is it's going to bring me up to a screen where it shows me my personal conversions because I already have my Shopify integrated. I've installed my Pinterest tag. So I have my Shopify integrated, but then I also have my Pinterest tag installed on my WordPress website as well. So both of those domains are claimed emilyvales.com and then shop emilyvales.com. So both of those are claimed and they both have the Pinterest tag installed as well. So I'm able to see all those conversions. So you will see this right here that says on the left side under conversions, you'll see events overview, conversion health, test events, and then Pinterest tag. So you're going to want to click on the arrow that says Pinterest tag. There's one that says tag manager and then tag health. What we're going to do is click on tag manager. So when I see this come up, you can view your Pinterest tag health. I'm going to click on, and I already know that I have this installed, but it will look a little bit different if you don't already have this installed. But since I do, I don't want to uninstall it. So I'm going to still show you the steps I would take even if it wasn't installed. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and click on those three dots and it says configure base code and configure events code. I'm going to click on configure base code and it will tell me different ways to install or give me different options for ways I want to install that Pinterest tag. So the first option is add code using a partner integration, manually add tag code to website, and the third one, email instructions to a developer. So if you already have somebody who does your website, keeps that up to date, I have somebody who designs a lot of my website pages. It's not something that I wanna do personally, so I always hand that over. This is something that I could email to her. We work closely together and have for a long time, and I could just email those instructions to her. But if you wanted to do this on your own, I personally wanted to be able to do this because I could help my clients do it, or I could even just do it for my clients, especially because I was running Pinterest ads for them. So it was nice that when they paid me to do this, I took care of everything for them right down to the technical side. So I would click on choose for the manually add um, code to website. And then what I'm seeing come up on my screen is it says add code manually. So it does ask you to check for partners. So I'm gonna type in my website and it's kind of cool because when you check, it's gonna show who I would be eligible for integrations. So you see Google Tag Manager comes up. I see other integrations. There's WooCommerce, WordPress, Shopify. So what I'm actually going to do, instead of clicking on one of these integrations, I am actually literally taking the code myself, copying it, and then installing it on the back of my website. Pinterest has continued to evolve and become more intelligent and it has more options. This was actually something that it didn't pop up before. What would pop up was what I'm showing you on the next screen, which is just how to add code manually. So what you can do here, you are going to see this big long piece of 
different code. And this all together is your Pinterest tag. So it needs all of this information, all of this technical stuff, and you just copy it. So what I'm going to do, there is even a box here at the bottom that says copy code. It's copying all of that code there that you need. You click on copy. And once you have clicked on copy, what you would do is then you would go in and log into the back end of your website. So I use WordPress and I've already logged in. And I actually like to make my life as easy as possible because why not? So I actually have a plugin installed that allows me to add code to the header script. So what I'm going to do is I, and there's a lot of, if you even want to Google that, you could probably look on YouTube as well, any search engine, you could just search for plugins that allow you to install code in the header script of your website. It's very important though, that that Pinterest tag, that long piece of code we just looked at, that is installed in the header script, okay? Because right here, what I see under my code snippets, I see header and footer, but I wouldn't wanna install that in the footer. It doesn't behave the same way if it's not installed in the right location. So I'm going to click on header and footer. And what I'm gonna do, you'll see header, body, and then if I scroll down, there's the footer. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to install that code in the header. So I ha already have other code installed as well, like my Facebook pixel and different things. So what I would do is I would just, if I already have other code installed, I would just hit enter so I have a blank area and I know that the, I'm not putting that code overlapping it with other code. I'm going to copy and paste it so I have that Pinterest tag there. And then what I'm going to do is I would just need to save those changes and then that's installed. So it's honestly as easy as that. Now I'm actually going to delete this because I already have installed my Pinterest tag and I really just wanted to show you, but it's honestly as easy as that. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you is that if I go to my website, I do have a Google Chrome extension and it's called the Pinterest tag helper. So I highly recommend getting the Pinterest tag helper because it just allows you to see if your Pinterest tag is firing correctly. Of course, you can also look on Pinterest as well. Like I said, you can always check the health of your Pinterest tag, but this is kind of cool. So you'll see my Google Chrome extensions at the top and it looks like a pin. And if I hover over it, it says Pinterest tag helper has access to this site. So if I hover over it, you'll see the Pinterest tag helper shows no tag issues or warnings found. Initialized event was sent successfully. So it's just kind of nice to have that and be able to check, see what's firing when you're on that specific page. But once again, if you go into the back end of your Pinterest, you can also check your Pinterest tag health as well. So you can see that right now mine says healthy, everything's firing correctly, and you can also test events if you want to test events. So if I entered in emilyvales.com, I could launch my website. And what will it will show me is that it's receiving activity. So that kind of reinforces that I have that Pinterest tag installed and it's firing as it should. So like I said, a little bit technical, not overly technical. I promise it is once you've done it, it seems super simple. And once again, if you need to have a web developer or somebody help you, then you can have them help you as well. So let me know in the comments what questions you have about installing your Pinterest tag. And let's go ahead and wrap up this episode. So there you have it. That is how you install your Pinterest tag. I hope you found this episode helpful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. That helps me grow. And then it also ensures that you never miss a new episode. I can't wait to see you in next week's episode. Bye for now, friends.